wet, wet. What is up, YouTube? Wyatt Finn back again with another video. Today's video is gonna be, I think, Q&A number 11. As always, it'll be in the title if I'm wrong, or it'll just be in the title anyway. So I've got some pretty good questions this time, so let's get started. Okay, so the first question says, what's your favorite restaurant? Now, I can answer this a couple of ways. Favorite actual restaurant is probably this like hamburger place called Hot Rods 50s Dino. It's really, really good. Or then there's this Japanese, I guess, restaurant called Sakura. It's really good. And then I like Buffalo Wild Wings. And then f I guess fast food restaurant, even though I wouldn't call it a fast food restaurant, would be Chick-fil-A, even though it is fast food, but it's a lot more healthier than regular fast food, so I don't count it. It's complicated. But yeah, I'm, pop I'm probably just gonna say, I guess, Buffalo Wild Wings and Chick-fil-A. So Velveteen Dream or Adam Cole, I like both of these guys. They're both probably my top two favorite NXT wrestlers since uh, Drew McIntyre is in June. Once Drew McIntyre comes out, that'll be my top three. But Valentine Dream hasn't, he killed it as, like, he's killed it. Like, when he was in MCW with Leo Rush, shout outs to Malcolm. I've seen some of his stuff and he was really, really good. Going in there tough enough and not winning it, I was like, oh, his career's over. WWE signs him. He's, his character is just, like, it's amazing. And then Adam Cole, he's Adam Cole. You can't say anything else about him. He's great. So I really can't choose. I guess I'm going to say Velveteen Dream just because and I've seen more of him. Like, I've seen a whole bunch of Adam Cole stuff, but I've seen a lot more of Patrick Clark or Velveteen Dream stuff. So I'm just going to have to stick with Velveteen Dream. So tossed or chopped salad. I don't eat salad. I'm, like, not a big fan of bel barely any vegetables. I like corn, green beans, um potatoes and pebbles that's about it i don't eat any other vegetables which i know is kind of bad i'm pretty unhealthy but yeah so in return i don't eat salad so i'm just gonna say i don't know chopped salad i don't like salad but i have to pick one chopped cody rhodes or kenny omega um as you guys know or you probably don't know you do know whatever um cody rhodes did end up turning on kenny omega i think it was this week or last week and that sparked the whole thing it was pretty cool if you guys haven't seen the clip i do suggest you uh, seen the clip like watching the clip he hit him with the crossroads and Cody or I like them both equally almost I've watched Cody wrestle a lot more because of his WWE days but Kenny is probably the greatest wrestler in the world so it's like hand and I don't know Kenny I'm just gonna say Kenny so this one's kind of long if W if WWE decided to bring back ECW and it was non-PG and had blood and everything like it used to be would you support them or no Yes, 100%. I'm all for the blood. And if it's not PG, just kids don't watch it. Like, pellets, don't let your kids watch it. If you want, want to let them watch it, let them watch it. But honestly, if WWE went back, I know the sales probably go a little bit down. But if they went back to non-PG, I think the viewers and everything would go back up. It'll be back up into like the... I guess higher age range where it's not like all little kids and stuff don't get me wrong but WWE, I guess WWE right now is great but in the Attitude Era everyone knows the Attitude Era was probably the best era in WWE history so yeah if ECW if WWE brought back ECW and had blood and stuff I could be completely fine with that so uh, do you think the WWE letting or letting the women's wrestlers be in like the uh, Hell in a Cell el Elimination Chain or Royal Rumbles could be dangerous for them Yes and no. One, no, because WWE's finally treating them like, like they do the men. And they're finally getting all the opportunities the men get. And then, sorry, there was a, a piece of hell or something in the air. It's still, still there. I'm not just swatting something. I'm not crazy. <laughs> but, yeah. I think, I think that it's not dangerous. Just because they're doing the exact same thing the men are doing. The men have do have injuries, but there's not a lot, a lot of injuries. And... Yeah, so I don't think it's a lot more dangerous. What's your favorite year in WWE? I like 96 was a good year, 98, 99 was a good year. 2008 was an amazing year just because I, that's when I first started watching wrestling. 2009, everything that happened in 2009, that's like 2009 was my favorite year I've actually been able to watch live. So... I'm just going to say 98 and 2009. What's your favorite match of all time? Um, the Undertaker versus, I think it was Mankind. It might have been one of his other personas in King of the Ring 93. If I'm wrong on the year, I'll pop it up on the screen. But yeah, that was an amazing match. Well, The Undertaker threw Mankind off the cell and 
that was just amazing. The entire match was great. Okay, so would you rather have CM Punk and Rey Mysterio or Cena and Miz signed to the WWE? Why would you give me this kind of question? I don't know if I can answer this because CM Punk, you guys know, my favorite wrestler of all time. Like, I would love, I would love anything for him to be in WWE. Rey Mysterio, another one of my favorite wrestlers, wrestlers of all time. I would love for him to be back in WWE, even though he just was torn into Rumble, but that was just a one-time thing. Um, Miz, my favorite wrestler right now. Cena, another one of my favorite wrestlers, wrestlers of all time. So this is, I don't know. Um, I can't answer this. I, if you guys want to answer it. I guess, answer it in the comments, I can't. Um, what would you do if you were general manager of Raw? Get rid of the Cruiserweight division. It's great, but there's really no need to. I think the wrestlers, my dog's walking in the background, but I think the wrestlers that are in the Cruiserweight division deserve to go after the United States Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, something like that. Don't just have them on the show for like two or five live. That's pointless to me. Who will win, Shinsuke Nakamura or AJ Styles? I could care less, like, don't get me wrong, this is gonna be the best match of the night. But, I think whoever wins, it's gonna be a cool match regardless. I would like Shinsuke to win, just because I would like him to be WWE Champion. But if AJ Styles retain the championship, I'd be okay with that too. What is one wrestling event that you really want to attend one day? SummerSlam or Royal Rumble? SummerSlam's just awesome, and then Royal Rumble... It's the Royal Rumble. It's just super, super cool. I'm debating on going to the one in Phoenix next year, but I doubt I'll go. And then if I could go to Summer Sam and Royal Rumble, I would have completed the big full pay-per-view. So I've been, because, oh, I will be going to WrestleMania in like two months. I've been to Survivor Series, which I'm sitting on the Survivor Series show right now. So yeah, Royal Rumble and Survivor Series, or Royal Rumble and Summer Sam. Um, thoughts to the Women's Elimination Chain. Well, I think it's really, really good that WWE is giving the women the same opportunities as the men. They just need to pay them more because, as you guys, if you guys do know or don't know, they pay, they don't pay them anywhere close to the men. Like it's they get paid super, super low. I'm like I think two hundred thousand dollars a year, which may not seem bad, but for what they do and what they put the bodies on the line for. And what the men make, that's pretty bad. But yeah, I think it's amazing I did, though, having a, a woman's elimination chamber match. It's going to be super cool to watch. What do you think about Ronda Rousey coming to WWE? I think it's awesome. I liked Ronda when she was in UFC I, or MMA. Was she in UFC or MMA? I think UFC. I'm not 100% sure. I'll, I might flash up on the screen. But, yeah, Wonder Rousey's awesome. I like how she's in WWE now. I know people are like, she shouldn't be there. But I think she should. I think she's going to do great as a wrestler. I don't, I'm don't. i hoping WWE doesn't do something like with Brock Lesnar. She's just a part-timer. I know she's. I, I know I read somewhere she's not supposed to have a match until her Mania match. And we still don't know who she's going up against. I think it's probably going to be Charlotte, maybe. Or Bliss. I'd be okay with either one of those. But, yeah, I think it's really, really, really cool when in WWE. If you could pick... Well, wait, if, if you could pick who the first person to be Oscar, who would you pick and why? I would like some, like a past women's wrestler to come back and like have a feud with her. Maybe like, I don't know, Michelle McCall, Beth Phoenix, something like that. I think that would be pretty cool. But if that couldn't happen, maybe... I actually can't answer this. Oscar's probably my second or third favorite women's wrestler right now, so... I, I kind of don't want to want to see her streak end, and I know it's going to have to one day. I'm just going to say Charlotte. So, who's the number one goal and guy on your list to meet during WrestleMania Access? Mine is Nia Jackson, Finn Balor. Guy, Braun Strowman. I don't know if it's going to happen because I have I know I can meet Braun Strowman a whole lot less than $190. Even though he's my favorite wrestler and I'm dying to meet him. Maybe I can get his ticket a lot cheaper off StubHub the day of the signing. But if not, it's cool. I won't meet him. But if I can't meet him, Miz 100%. Then Women's Wrestler Paige. I've been wanting to meet Paige forever. Almost, I was hoping I was gonna, gonna get a meet her in November, but she swerved us saying she was gonna come back out and she never did. Classic WWE Wrestler move. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know, what can I ask you guys? Tell me, I don't know, your favorite match of all time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.